Hi everyone, it's Phoebe from Quilted Pig. Welcome to my studio and welcome to the very first Lunch with Phoebe. I'm glad you're here today. So I envision Lunch with Phoebe to be quicker, shorter videos with smaller, easier projects or just a quick technique. So I hope you'll join me. Let's see what we've got going on today. So I have a whole pile of flippy corners that I cut off when I was making this quilt. And so these are little half square triangles and they're chain sewn because when I sewed the ones for this, I went back through while they were still attached and sewed these triangles. Now what's a flippy corner you ask? Well, I will tell you. So when we're making angles like that or like this or like this angle here on the um, spool block, a very time efficient and precision way to make those corners is to take a square and sew it from corner to corner diagonally and then flip it back and trim this bit off that's left over. And so that's how I ended up with these because instead of just trimming it off, I went down a second time, just a quarter of an inch or so out and cut right on down it. So I thought I'd share with you that I did that now these were two inch strips so when I've got these triangles and I'll cut a few apart and show you what I'm going to do when I got these triangles I measured some and checked them out and they should come out with inch and a quarter inch blocks that I can make a square from so since I've got that little seam there I can open that up and it's basically a daughter block for my larger quilt. So I can make a pillow or something like that to go along with the quilt. Plus, who doesn't like little bitty things? So I'm gonna trim them up. I'm using the method that I used in my video on how to um, more easily trim half square triangles. And I will definitely link that for you. But I'm gonna trim those up and then we will have I'm not sure how many there are here, but I want to say it's a couple hundred. <laughs> so we'll have a couple hundred little half square triangles that are already made, and this doesn't go in the trash that way. So trimming it up, following that seam line. This one was a close cut too. So I took one from being a triangle like this to being cut like this now, looks like a little jewel or a gemstone, and I'm gonna open it up. I think I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> so open it up and now I have a little bitty inch and a quarter half square triangle that I can do something else fun with. And like I said, keep all of this out of the landfill. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of Lunch with Phoebe and I hope you'll come and see me next time. Bring a snack. <laughs>